Welcome back, True Seeker. It is Friday, July 2nd, 2021, and we have our first hurricane this season. And it is going to impact Jamaica and Cuba this Sunday, July 4th, 2021, the date we had circled for weather warfare and very possibly the first hurricane story of the year. Just like last year on the 52 date to start July, we had it circled for the first potential hurricane of the year. Same thing this year, same pattern, and it's the exact same thing every single year. If you're new here, Again, you got to learn the knowledge. Weather warfare was admitted to in 1952 by the Royal Air Force. If you circle your dates with 52 numerology, you'll see how the flooding, the hurricanes, all of this stuff comes in very specific patterns. All you got to do is know date numerology and gematria. And again, with regards to 52... In Gematria, hurricane equals 52. Jamaica is going to be impacted on July 4th, 2021, the 52 date numerology this year. Remember, flood, earth, Enlil, they're all 52 when you just use the alphabetic order. Enlil's the Babylonian god of flooding. If you're new here, Gematria is based on the alphabetic order, forwards and backwards, but the number that matters the most with flooding is 52. We just saw Detroit flood on the 52 date. And you see how flood is 83 in reverse? Keep in mind, Detroit is on the 83rd meridian west. On March 8th this year, a date written 8 slash 3, which also had 52 date numerology. Again, Hawaii suffered massive flooding. But Cuba and Jamaica are going to get smacked on Sunday. Cuba's going to get the worst of it, but Jamaica will still get some. And again, it's just the fact that a hurricane making landfall on the 52 date and the same stuff goes on year after year after year. I've been documenting this and naming the dates before they happen for many years now. You know, August 27th, 17, the day Harvey made landfall. That was a 52 date numerology, the 239th day of the year. We circled a week in advance that that was the day Texas should expect flooding. We haven't ended up calling the World Series correctly off of that storm because, again, we understand in this community what's really going on, how controlled the weather is, how rigged the game is from the sports games to the weather. And if you think we're wrong, it's too bad because we're proving ourselves right every single day, murdering the world of rigged sports, calling the storms before they happen, and doing it day after day for years now, you guys. And um, again, I, I know those of you guys who are veterans get tired of me bringing up the same things, but I always hope there's a new person here. Again, Vice News wrote this article about me years ago. Wacko YouTuber approves World Series was rigged. And they even got a guy, Sean Newell, whose name equals 52, to write the article. But you can see he's quoting me and making fun of what I wrote about why the Astros would beat the Dodgers which I said in August of 2017, why the Astros would beat the Dodgers in the World Series, why it was no accident that Matt Harvey was the first pitcher in Houston after the flooding of Harvey, and that game was exactly 52 days before the start of the World Series, and Fox News showed the clip of the woman in Houston whose home didn't flood because it was up on a little bit higher hill than the rest of the neighborhood, and she said she felt like she won the World Series because her house didn't flood, which didn't make, I mean, who would ever say that? Again, it's because they got some crisis actor on there for all part of their plan script that we're living out. And these people have the weather scripted and the sports games. Again, we're proving it day after day. Another dominant day in baseball yesterday. At the beginning of the week, we had Colorado for four straight wins, all free money. And um, we said, watch, the Rockies will sweep the Pirates and make the Pirates or make the Rockies 34 and 47. Pirates equals 34 forwards, 47 reverse. And then they'll pick up their 35th win on Thursday over the Cardinals, the very Catholic team on a Thursday. Well, that's exactly what happened. They swept the Pirates. They picked up their 35th win last night on a Thursday on a walk-off home run in the ninth by number 35, Elias Diaz. And just notice how it all overlaps. And you know what? This wasn't a planned part of the presentation, but Bryson's calling in in real time right now. Bryson, I'm actually recording a video, but I'm going to make you part of the video if you want to be part of it because you just happen to be calling in right as I'm ending it. I'm talking about uh, weather warfare. What, what, what do you want to talk about? Oh, uh, well, I, I, here, I, I'll just call you right after you're done recording. 
Okay, you don't want to be a part of it. Well, at least we got your voice in there, the young, brilliant Bryson, and I'll call you right back. I'll be done in a moment. Okay. Actually, you know what? This is kind of important. Um, so do you mind if I go in? I don't mind. That's why I picked up while okay. I was recording. Okay, so last night I kind of had a revelation. Um, I was listening to that song, Cell Therapy, and I was thinking about it, and I thought about how you know, right now they're putting out the mRNA injections that you know mess, mess with your cells, right? Cell therapy, and that song talks about everything going on right now. And I went back and I reanalyzed the lyrics. Well, first of all, I looked back at the date they were that music video released for that. It released February 25th, 2014, the 56th day of the year. And of course, at the 56 second mark in the video, that's where the masks are showing. Um, but I went back and I reanalyzed the lyrics and not only do they talk about like everything going on, but um, I think it might be like the second or third verse. It, it, it goes concentration camps laced with gas pipelines. Like th- think about like the colonial pipeline that happened this year, right? Right. And then the next line is infernos outdoors. Like they had back when Adolf Hitler was living in 1945, Adolf Hitler goes to 56. But I also think about Tom Hanks Inferno movie, right? Combined, coupled with all the heat waves going on right now, like the Inferno, correct? Um, yeah. So, well, great observations. Yeah, for, for people who haven't seen our work on uh, Goody Mob cell therapy and the, and the pandemic, we actually talked about this last year. And CeeLo from that group actually shared the video I did on that on his own Instagram page. So, yeah, look up the lyrics to uh, Goody Mob cell therapy, and. Um, Pay attention. Yeah, great observations. Good additional thoughts, Bryson. Yeah, no problem. Well, hopefully, you, hopefully you can add to, uh, add to that post. And uh, I mean, it, it seems like as time passes on, the, um, the, the song, every lyric in the song comes to fruition more and more. So, One of the truest songs ever made, it turns out. Mm-hmm. Self-therapy. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, no problem. Have a good one. Man. All right, see ya. Peace. All right. All right, but yeah, that was unexpected, but we're just getting it all in there. Again, you know, this article written, let me see. And, and let me just show you how they how they had to clown by having this guy write this article and make fun of everything. I, I mean, how are you going to make fun of what I wrote? Everything was true. We called what day the hurricane would land. We called who'd win the World Series off it. And we've just been doing the same thing night after night, every day since. I mean, this doesn't stop over here, but you see how they got a clown? They had to have Sean Newell write the article because he's got the 52 in his name. See? When you run the alphabetic order and reverse the rules numerology, Sean Newell, 52, Hurricane, 52, Flood, 52, Earth, 52, Enlil, 52. You know, here's a story from history's past that never made any sense. Katrina, 52. Remember, for 10 days, they, the news media knew Katrina was going to hit New Orleans. But then when it did, the federal government said they weren't prepared. Again, that's just the way they love to mock you. They love to mock you. They got this whole thing so scripted. And all of you out there who always leave the comments, there's no such thing as weather warfare. Can you guys go back under your troll bridge and never come back out? Technology's a real thing. Look at what they do to the skies all day. All those planes that spray the sky fly out of military bases. This is a military operation. Yes, they do know how to influence and control the weather. That's how we control predicted the crazy weather this Valentine's Day and the likely blackouts. And look at what they did to Houston. Look at what they're doing to the Pacific Northwest right now. They got it hotter than Phoenix in June when it's normally 60 degrees and cloudy outside. They got it double the temperature. They got it approaching 120. Again, you guys, this is weather warfare. This is Agenda 21. This is Agenda 2030. And if you can't dig it, it's because you're not smart enough and you're what's wrong with the world. Again, we're proving our points every single day over here, helping people earn fat stacks and helping people break out of the matrix and helping young minds like Bryson, you know, get on the right path and do their part to help make the world a better place. So again, you guys, learn the knowledge, benefits, and until next time.